Hello again. Uh, diving number two. Um, I've been doing a little, little, little bit more of, um, digging and delving in, into the organising itself. Obviously, initially miss, with myself going in there, um, I would go in on the, you know through the through the sports section, uh, but doing a little delving. The organisation is actually split into three main strands, uh, which comprises of the community development side, which where the sports and recreation comes under. Um, then there's a uh, there's a health and well-being strand, and there's also education and employability strand. Um, so I'll just t touch briefly. I'll uh, start with the education and employ employability. So um, there's a big um, initiative they run called Pound and Pence, um, which is funded by NatWest Bank. Um, and that's um, it's a charity aimed at BAME women um, to give them uh, money money management advice, um, budgeting tips, skills, um, debt debt workshops, and things like that. And all, all of this is free with it being funded from uh, NatWest, like I said. Um, good to see also through that st strand they run uh, it courses so if you're looking you need to write covering letters cvs um you i haven't got a clue how to use computers uh a bit unlike myself really uh so they, they'll cover the basics with you um help you navigate around different different programs essential programs if you you know you may need far work to help you out with uh, make you more employable um they also um run a let's learn english course which is aimed at refugees coming into coming into the area uh, again it's a course it's, it's it's backed it's free to teach them how to write uh reading um ba basic in english language um you know learning phrases um also with that with what i felt was a nice touch was the option of doing one-to-one -one, uh which can be understandable if you're trying to learn a new language in a room full of people and it can get a bit confusing I would, I would imagine um the other strand before getting to the sport was the uh the health and well-being so the work and focus with with um young young adults um they sort of run courses on uh, promoting uh, awareness on substance misuse through youth through their youth clubs and youth forums again, which are all free. Um, what else was there now? Um, uh, I've been uh, the access uh, I got a go between. Um, as well, I've witnessed myself in the past. You see bits all all over the news. Um, young young, young t things like teenage pregnancies. So that they offer um a form of counselling and guidance and and uh, help you go through the right procedures, the right way to go about it. Um, go and see the doctor. Um, things like that, which I think is great, uh, crucial, especially in some areas. Blackburn, you know, with the I considered uh, deprived areas. Uh, people aren't aware of things out there that can that can help them. So I think this is a really good initiative for them. Um, and then down onto the sports and re recreation. Um, now they have permanent programs running all the time, such as the football, uh, which I help out with on a Saturday morning, which is held at um, Blackburn High School. Um, Ranges for children um on the way from five to twelve years old. Um, within that, uh, a couple of actual grassroots teams were created, and um, they're looking to by increasing numbers and make that more. Um, now they do charge for that, which is ten pounds a month, which for children to partake in sport these days is is, is not really a lot you consider things uh gymnastics um which is expensive uh swimming lessons nowadays are expensive i've just i've just put my daughter in for swimming lessons it's costing me just under 50 pound a month 
for two hours worth of swimming, uh, half an hour a week, which madness. But anyway, um, yep. Yeah, so the the there's, there's football, cricket, netball, which runs that's all at ten pound a month, which uh, which the children register on. Um, but through the football, especially which is what I work with, there there's, there's partnerships running alongside there with Blackburn Rovers. So there's prizes for the kids each week, uh, tickets to the games, um, tours, and th- uh, things like that, which is which is brilliant. Uh, along the football side of it as well, they also um, run a, the Premier League Kicks program, which is uh, free, which is free for everybody there. Um, Again, it's in partnership with Blackburn and also the Premier League as well. Even though Blackburn aren't in Premier League at the moment, but never mind. Um, it's a little bit more on what I'm doing. Like I said, football on the on the Saturday. On a Monday, I go to a high school in Accrington. Um, I'm helping a coach there at the minute do cricket. Um, again, these, these kids uh, have difficulties. Not so much the learning difficulties, but more so... Um, from their home lives, um, you know, the, the difficulties with with their family life, uh, which can be testing when it comes when it comes to trying to coach, um, because it's hard to get the structure there for them. But it's 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 a challenge. It's interesting. You've got to take a different approach, um, try and find yourself, get yourself on their wavelength, uh, which is quite interesting. And then again, another another challenge which which you do on a, on a Wednesday morning, uh, in Blackburn. Um, we do a multi-sport session um, at Whitton Park um, for our children that are homeschooled. Uh, again, the age range is there. Uh, again, they start from five and get there up to up to twelve as as well. Um, now, my view on that them diff diff differs, I think, for a bit from the organisation itself. Uh, in regards to, um, it's, it looks from an outside point of view that like they just sort of go through the motions with it. Um, there's there's no we've done some re- a real commitment in terms of helping these children develop. Uh, they just seem to play dodgeball with them, which which is is, is great. So it's it's a fun it's a fun game, but uh, for me the children are not benefiting from anything. You know, there's a hell of a lot more sports and games out out there. Uh, for them to learn um so uh, what what had actually happened after uh, a couple of weeks uh, the gentleman i was help i was assisting there um ishi um to visit his family he's from india he went to visit his family over there um so i took i, took, I then took lead on that um so using initiative uh also with permission uh i changed it up and with him being away for that period I thought I'd, I'd come up with um, a six, six week uh, periodization uh, schedule um, which something which was pretty new to me and also new to, new to the kids themselves because I was teaching them a new sport uh, which we've been, been covering netball uh, so we have started co- covering the basics uh, techniques, ways to handle the ball, ways to pass the ball then we've been looking more at the movement where you wait when you can move when you can't move uh, all the way down to the final week um which i've just completed which covered uh, the, the positions out, out on the pitch um having mini games with them uh, and they seem to re- really enjoyed it um so that's something now uh it's give the organization something to think about in terms of whether they're going to look at doing um blocks of different sports as uh, my, my view on that is you know the, these children don't get exposed to regular school uh, so they get exposed to regular P lessons so I, th- I think teaching them these, these team sports uh, are quite essential to help them later on in life um, which is great uh, I think that's it for now